Accelerating the development and adoption of NFE requires working with ecosystem partners and also service providers to optimize integration and also interoperable solutions. But what are the key barriers to deployment of NFE that can provide end-to-end -end solutions to service providers? Here to tell us is Timon Sloan. He's the Open Networking Foundation's Vice President of Standards and Membership. And Timon, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. I just want to, if we can sort of set the stage, if you will, uh, for our viewers, what are the three, uh, what are the few key ways that industry can help speed up the development and adoption of NFE uh, from your perspective? I think the big picture problem is that uh, NFV VNF is complicated. It's a lot of moving parts and a lot of pieces that need to be plugged together. And the industry has been really excited since the beginning, you know, about the vision that was set out by Etsy. But now we need to pull those pieces together into solutions, deployable solutions. And that's not a trivial problem. So the big picture is how do we build solutions out of these components? And that's how we get there. Tom, I want to ask you about the importance of being able to um, really plug into the open source platforms to help craft solutions for operator use cases and maybe uh, talk specifically about m or 5G Mobile. Yeah, sure. So, uh, well, let me step back just a touch. So, you know, what the ONF has done is to try to craft a path forward to build these solutions out of, out of all these piece parts to sort of navigate our way through this complexity. As you know, the ONF is an operator-led consortium, you know, the biggest tier one operators worldwide, you know, invest in us and work with us, and we try to help solve their problems. And so what we've done with Cord and MCord that you mentioned are to build solutions out of all these components, deployable solutions that, you know, you can click a single button, download a complete solution, and bring, bring up a next generation central office without having to put it all together yourself. So that's been our approach to helping the, the industry move forward. And, um, and that's really what's led to the great success and traction that we're getting. Now, time, and I know that uh, ONF, uh, the Open Networking Foundation, has a clear vision for NFE adoption and deployment over the next several years. Um, and I also uh, was aware of an illustration that ONF uh, recently put out about this path, this vision. Can you explain the path to deployment for NFE from the data plane systems uh, all the way to the integration and service creation? Right. So I think what you're talking about is what we call our open innovation pipeline. So again, we have all these pieces we need to put together into solutions, and it includes things from the data plane all the way up to the VNFs. They're big, complicated problems to solve. So we here at the ONF with Cord put together a, a number of reference solutions that one can download, MCord for mobile, RCord for residential, and eCord for enterprise business services. And what we do with the innovation pipeline is open it up so others, operators and vendors, can customize the solutions to meet their own needs. Vendors can plug in their own pieces, be it data plane components all the way up to unique VNFs. And operators can take it, customize, add their own VNFs, uh, mix and match, and create uh, unique customized solutions to meet their specific business needs. Now, one last question before we let you go, uh, Timon. Uh, what is ONF's uh, perspective on how the service provider and maybe also the vendor communities are working together that to speed up the NFE, NFE adoption and also deployment? Well, it's really you know, connected to that same vision. Again, we're operator led. We think that's what's made the ONF unique and really led to our unique success. You know, from day one, our boards all constructed from uh, tier one operators and uh, you know, that the operators set our agenda. So, you know, with that, we work with you know, a wide range of the vendor community. I mean, the, the entire supply chain, all the way from, you know, silicon chip manufacturers, all the way up to um, system integrators. But we focus on building solutions that the operators have, um, you know, expressly described and, in, um, and kind of guide us. So we know that what we're building is going to be used in real networks. And then we make it possible for for the entire ecosystem to participate and to plug in and to help us craft these solutions. So we're unique in that we have a funded lab of engineers, uh, roughly 25 to 30 full-time engineers here uh, in the lab where I'm located, but we also have a very broad ecosystem from all these member companies and you know, hundreds of engineers from around the world all working on this common problem. Uh, time and I, 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 I sort of lied before. So one more question before we let you go. I, I said in the introduction uh, about some key barriers that we should be aware of for the uh, deployment of NFE uh, by service providers. Can you just name one or two of those key barriers uh, uh, to deployment? 
the barriers are honestly about complexity and compatibility. You know, again, we have all these pieces we need to plug together. And if one goes out and tries to put together a solution on their own, it's a very complicated problem. And the operators, to be frank, don't have the skill set in-house. Historically, they don't have the software engineering talent to pull all these pieces together. So we need to be able to somehow bridge through that complexity. And our view is that solutions are the way to do that. If you can download something that's already put together for you, it's much easier to get started. Uh, the next piece is compatibility. We need it to make it easy to plug in these different pieces. And today, you know, the industry has not really stepped up to provide standards for how all these different pieces snap together. So we also have an initiative around software defined standards to derive from our work and from our open source platforms standards, APIs and data models that that the participants can use to be able to uh, craft pieces that plug in uh, easily and seamlessly. And then this is, we believe, sort of key to the vision for success. Easy consumption through solution and easy participation through compatibility, like piece parts that can plug in. Well, Time and uh, ONF has a wealth of resources on their website um, for NFE deployments. I would encourage our service provider uh, community and audience to, uh, to the go, go to the ONF uh, webpage uh, for that information. So Time and thanks for your time. Hey, great. Great talking to you again. You too.